In this video, I'm going to show you how to open the back cover and see if it's easy to take off. Some of you might need to replace your hard drive because the original 1TB might not be enough for you. So, let's try opening it up now. Get your screwdriver ready, and also some plastic prying tools. Alright, let's get started. We can see there are six screws on the back. After removing all of them, we'll take another look. Then we'll use this little prime tool to try prying it open. Let's see if there are any gaps around the edges, and if we can pry it open. Okay, good. Once you've pried open one edge, just keep sliding along the edges and you should be able to open it up. Alright, good. After you've pried all the way around, let's open up this cover and take a look. Find something small to prop it up. Okay, so this is what's inside. The layout, wow, it looks really neat. This is the battery. And then the hard drive is right here. This hard drive. Here, everyone, take a look. Oh, this spot might be a bit tight. Here, we might need to unplug this battery cable. Then unscrew the screw down here. Not bad at all. Overall, it's still pretty easy to figure out. And honestly, there's still a lot of empty space here for the battery. You could actually fit an even bigger one. But if you go any bigger, you might not be able to take it on a plane. A 100 watt hour battery might not be allowed on a plane. And let me take a look over here. Do you see this fan? The blade density here is really high. No wonder the airflow management this time isn't that great. To keep it quiet, they didn't ramp up the airflow. Also, let me interrupt with some breaking news. When I was about to test that game today, I found out that this machine updated its graphics card driver. Everyone, do not update it. If you've bought the machine, don't update the driver. Just use the original one that came with it. The new driver actually makes things worse. After updating, a lot of games will crash or the frame rate will drop. So don't update it. Right now, I'm also rolling back the settings. All right, that's it for this video. Remember, before you remove the hard drive, Make sure to power off the device and discharge any static electricity. That's all. See you.